class, I wanted to cover the Unit 5 work because when we meet again, you will be well into Unit 5 and should have completed much of the work. As a reminder, we're not meeting this Thursday. Instead, you're having a group conference at some point before we meet again. You'll see that your post-conference project status report is due and it's due before we meet again. And I wanted to make very clear that for this assignment, you do need to answer all of these questions. We're at a point now where we're you know, headed toward the end of the semester in your presentation. So I want to see what you've accomplished, what you still need to accomplish, kind of a detailed plan. To do this, click on Submit Assignment. You can simply copy these bullets right into that text entry box, which makes it really easy for you to type your answers and then click on Submit. Okay, so let's go back. One other assignment that has to do with your presentation is your presentation outline. That's actually due on November 10th, but you'll see here that this is submitted by a Word document. You're planning for a 10 to 15 minute presentation. Your outline should be very specific and you also need to include an updated list of your work cited. There's a sample outline here. When you click on submit, you should find the browser box and then you can submit that file. Okay, one outline per group, but you should all work on this. So you can work on this when you get together. Um, for your um, group conference or your group meeting. And then lastly, the critical thinking in healthcare. There we go. You'll be used to the type of assignment, of course, but it's a little bit different. For this one, you are watching a movie about single-payer health care. Now, I'll be very honest with you, this is presented by proponents of this system. So it's not necessarily unbiased, but at the same time, it does offer some very good information about what the advantages of this system would be apologize for my computer here. I did want to show you that this is a free movie and it's fairly easy to get to. <laughs> um, and it should pop up at any minute. There you go. So when you when this fully loads you'll see here is the movie. It's 58 minutes long. You can also download it, so that should be easy for you. This next link takes you to a slideshow which provides interesting information as well. Be sure you understand the data when you use it. Okay, I've had students get kind of um, confused by data, so make sure you study it and understand it if you use it in your answers. So the questions are about the benefits to different stakeholders in the healthcare system. So you'll answer that with information from the movie. What potential problems would be, and you may, may need to go to some other sources for that, but make sure they're relatively unbiased sources. There are some people who are against single payer because they think it's a socialist system of health care, um, but that's you know not the type of source you want to look at. Um, and then do you think this is a realistic option for the U.S.? And finally, there is an article which I'm realizing here that I didn't post the link to. So I'm going to go back into your assignment and have that link in your homework assignment and ready for you. And that's all. Have a happy Halloween and good luck with your conferences.